Good morning everyone and in this video I'm going to be taking you guys along with me on one of my shoots. Um, the shoot that I'm going to be doing today is of a condo building that was newly built. Um, I'll take you guys around on how I pretty much do a shoot. Um, it's pretty simple but I thought you guys would like a behind the scenes of what it kind of happens on a real estate photographer. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right guys, so I just made it here, so I'm gonna go talk to the property manager and then I'll take you guys along with me throughout the shoots that I do, because we're gonna be doing the common areas, a couple units, and pretty much everything throughout the whole building. So let's go for it. So this is gonna be the first unit that we're shooting. It's just a typical unit. There's nothing in it, which is good because since it's newly built and this is gonna be for the developer, we don't really want like people's furniture and stuff in there. So I think that's gonna be a really good um, look, just to have it empty and not very cluttered with people's stuff. So let's get onto the shoot. When doing real estate photos, a good tip is to, oh, that's the light, is to turn off the fan. You don't want the fan in the, in the shot. Well, you're just gonna get the motion blur of it and you're not gonna want that. So try to turn off, the, you can leave the, the light on, but try to care, oh man, I turned it back on. I can't, I can't get it off. Okay, I think, I think I got it. Okay, I think so, I hope I got it. Anyways, let's get back to it. So I have another tip for you guys. When you're shooting a room facing that way, you can see that the door is open. Let's say this is the master bedroom. You can see that the main door is open. Typically when we shoot real estate, we want to close that door so it looks a lot nicer. So whenever you're in a room and you're facing towards the door, I would always recommend closing it. So now the images looks a lot better and it doesn't look... I don't know, the images just look better when the door is closed. So anytime you're in a room facing the doorway, I would suggest closing it. Just another tip. My second or third tip I would also recommend is when you're in the bathroom and you ever come across a toilet, I would always recommend you bring that down. You don't, you don't really want it up in real estate photos. It's not gonna look good at all. So definitely when you're shooting real estate and you see a toilet seat up, bring it down because it's just gonna make the space a whole lot more appealing than if it was up. It just doesn't look nice. So keep going. Now we're gonna be taking photos of the exterior of the building, but it's gonna be a little interesting because since the building is like, you know, three, four stories high, I kinda wanna get like a nice height. Um, and since we're not doing drone photography, I'm actually gonna get on top of my car so that I can get a nice like height advantage of the building. I know it's kinda crazy, but you'll see in it it actually makes a big difference and I think I like the result of it. So you'll see how it looks like right now. So that's how you get the shot. So this is their club room per se. So this is what we have. We got like a pool table right here. We have some like seating area and then like a little kitchen. And then we also have some like computers over here as well for the residences. So we're gonna take a quick picture of this. I showed you guys the outside, a unit. There's no pool, but there's like a garden area. And then pretty much after that, we're pretty much good with this building. And since I'm giving you guys a lot of tips today, one thing that I do before I set up any photos is make sure that all the chairs are pushed in properly and they're equally the same. And that everything looks good like there's some things on that table right over there that i'm going to be moving let's make this straight and there's like some of these like cables so i'm actually going to move these out of the way because of course we don't want that in the shot so um, make sure everything is good over here let's just do some of this 
And then one more over here. Bring this, this thing up a little bit. All right, so that looks good. Let me just make sure with these chairs over here. And then see, so this is a room that's obviously being used for residence. So we don't want these chairs to look oddly placed. So we're gonna like align them so that they look very nice with the room. All right, check that out. See, so much better. Everything looks more neat. No clutter on the table. There's obviously some things that you can't really fix, like, or maybe take off, like, you don't know if you can take that off. It's an easy Photoshop fix, so we don't have to really worry about that. But other than that, the room looks clean, looks straightened up now. You can get to work. There are some cables here. Um, it's an easy Photoshop fix, so I'm not really worried about that. But everything else looks pretty good. Let's get started. All right, guys, well, I'm done with this shoot right now. Thank you guys for following along. And don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like this video if you guys like it. I will be uploading more videos like this. I actually have another shoot this weekend, and I'll be uploading that one probably by next week. But thank you guys along. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And I also have more content on my website on apertureuniversity.com. Link will be below. Thank you guys for following along. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.